Hi, welcome to Knits Up. I am Mindy, your hostess, otherwise known as Knitter CNY on Ravelry and Instagram. You can also find a Knits Up podcast page on Facebook, and you can find a Knits Up Ravelry group as well. So I thought I'd talk about what I'm working on and what I'm wearing. Uh, the, the sweater cardigan that I'm wearing is an open-faced... Um, meaning there's no buttons, sweater that is a Lion brand curvy girl pattern. Um, it has cable detail on the edges here and then also on this edge that's harder to see. Um, I'm trying a little new setup with a new light so let me know how that works. Um, this I knit in Lion Brand Heartland a few years ago, and I'm happy with the results. It, it pills a little bit, but it's mostly a sweater I wear at work, so it's kind of something I just throw on. I'm going to go right into finished objects because usually I never have finished objects, so this is a rarity and you should be excited. <laughs> Anyways, so this is a shawl that I finished. It took me about a month, I think, to work on. Um, it's made out of an acrylic alpaca blend from Hobby Lobby that was on clearance for $1.37 a skein. I bought two of the September Sunrise and two of the Dark Apricot, and then just did a simple shawl um, with four increases every right side row. It's a fairly simple pattern. There's a center stitch that's marked, and then there's you increase at the edge stitches. So that's what that looks like. Um, it's plenty long. Um, that kind of gives you an idea of how it comes out. It almost looks like a gradient, um, but that'll be nice and warm either for me or somebody in the family or for charity. I'm not quite sure which. So the other thing I started yesterday and finished yesterday in one day, you can do this people. Um, is a hat and my alma mater is SUNY Cortland, the State University of New York at Cortland. And my football team played the Ithaca College football team at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. That's the stadium where the Giants and the Jets play. Um, I think we made history as the most ticket sales for a Division three game ever. Um, I think they were expecting 46,000 people. I did not go to MetLife Stadium. Um, sitting outside in November and freezing my butt off does not appeal to me, so I streamed it um, just on my TV up here in Syracuse. And Cortland lost, unfortunately. Ithaca College won. But I have a cousin that works at Ithaca College and said, great, great that you guys went and the Ithaca one. So that's good. So what I started was um, Cortland's colors are red and white. We're known as the Red Dragons. That's our mascot. And I started a red hat. Um, at the beginning of the game, I finished it at about, I think, 11 o'clock last night or so. Um, I used a size 7 needle for the ribbing and then I used a size nine needle for the body and just did some decreases at the top. And I think the last four rows, I did more rapid decreases. I decreased every row versus every other row. So that kind of gives you that swirling, more swirling effect. The yarn that I used is Brown Sheep's Lamb Pride, Lamb's Pride Worsted. It is the Cranberry Swirls color. Um, this is seconds. Um, I bought this so long ago, it was four bucks. Um, and I bought this from Pollywogs, which is based out of Whalen, New York, either at Rhinebeck in, say, 2011 or 2012, or at a Finger Lakes Fiber Festival that is out in Hemlock, New York. Um, Pollywogs does most of their ordering online. Um, you look at what they got, you call or fax in your order, I think is how it works. But they're at a lot of shows. You can find them. They have good seconds on stuff. Um, seconds are like 
when you go to a retail store, hopefully you're buying firsts. Um, if there's a skein of yarn that doesn't quite measure up to the quality control process, it's called a second. And sometimes you'll see that Brown Sheep has a lot of seconds that are available. Um, there were spots in this where this wasn't fully spun down, but it works out really well. This is an acrylic, sorry. It is 85% wool and 15% mohair. So it's, it's a worsted, but it's a heavy worsted and it makes a great hat because even if you felt it, it's still soft. And that mohair gives just enough of a halo that it kind of keeps out the snow in the central New York weather. Um, the other thing I'm working on and haven't really touched for a while, other than to roll up the ball last night, was a hat. You can't really see this. It kind of looks like Red Heart um, Super Saver. It kind of feels like Red Heart Super Saver, but it's not. It's called Heat Wave. Heat Wave is a Red Heart yarn that has the technology built into it to supposedly heat up up to 12 degrees above the outside air temperature. It's activated by UV rays, sunlight. So um, at one point I was going to make this as a a family hat for a relative that um, is an alumni of Penn State because Penn State's colors are navy and white. Um, now I think I'm just going to make it and probably donate it to charity or something. As you can tell, I have a cat and cat hair is everywhere. Everywhere. Um, I think that pretty much takes care of, well, I have some other UFOs. Um, this is relatively... This has been relatively started fairly recently. Um, this is a hat I've been working on. It's, I think I'm using size five, 3.75 millimeter, 16 inch circular needle. This is Mallard Teal. This is Welch Coast is the name of the variegated. And the yarn that I am using is Patents Superwash, uh, DK, which is 100% wool, but it's been treated with a superwash. I know some people are not into superwash because of the environmental concerns with it, um, but this was basically last February. I had gone to Binghamton um, for a family funeral and needed to kill, kill some time, um, kind of get away from things, so I went I think it was Michael's that had this on clearance back in February and it was ridiculously low. I think it was less than three dollars a skein. So I bought two of the Welch Coast and one of the Mallard Teal. So I'm making myself a hat because I have a light teal um, L.L. Bean jacket, which this will match. So that's going pretty well. I just cast on a hundred and um, did my ribbing and it fits my head. So that'll be great. Um, the other thing that I am going to be working on eventually is I pulled out a pair of socks. Um, as you may remember, over the summer into the fall, I organized my yarn stash. And at the time, I didn't remember doing it, but apparently I had a storage ottoman that is ugly as hell. But I put my UFOs and my cotton yarns for like dishcloths and things like that into it. Just realized that the other day, even though it's sitting in my living room, because I wasn't going for looking for projects or anything. I'm going to put this down for a second. Oh dear. So what I got is a kind of, I don't even know if Lion Burn has this for sale anymore. But this is a, I think it's a superwash wool and nylon um, blend that's called Penelope is the name of the actual yarn that Lion Brand has. It kind of looks like a little kid played with crayons, but it's kind of unusual in that it comes as a tube. Um, so it's, could the tube could probably fit over your, index finger but so the colors are sort of dyed that way and it's one big tube I think I paid 20 bucks for it or something at the time 
and I'm just doing it on high high sharps um, in a magic loop method and it kind of looks bunched up because it's been sitting in the bag for a year or whatever so eventually I will get back to that hopefully I will get back after I finish my DK hat um, that we just showed you and then for a future project I'm kind of looking through my stash and I liked working with um, wool again um, pure wool so I've had these two yarns in my stash for quite a few years this I think I bought in 2012 it's really shiny it's got a lot of different colors in it this is I know the farm is someplace out in New York um, it might even be in Long Island or Westchester it's Duck Blind Farm, I believe is the name of it. You can go check my Ravelry stash and see. I bought this at Rhinebeck. It's 100% mohair, I believe. And they dyed the colors based on a photograph of the hills in back of their farm. So they're like all those beautiful fall colors, maroon and burgundy. Um, it kind of flashes in and out. And then I also have some worsted weight yarn that's in my stash that I've had for a million and 12 years. Um, this is so old that my friend's kids are, I think, 15 and 18 or 15 and 19, 16 and 19 and 16 and 20, or something like that. They were in elementary school when I bought this. Um, I had, he was working at a college. Um, I borrowed a car while he was doing something with college orientation. And I went up to Mount Savior Monastery in Pine City, New York. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. It's near Elmira, New York, um, Horseheads Way. Um, you go back on a dirt gravel kind of road for about a mile, and then you come to a Benedictine monastery. They raise sheep. Um, their sheep are... I believe Blackface Scottish is the breed that they were raising at the time. I don't know if they still do that or not. Um, and then they also had their yarn spun. Um, so it's kind of a rough, rustic yarn. It comes in different colors, but this is one of them that's natural. And I try, had tried to knit a hat out of this, and it was just way too rough, and it was way too boring as one color. Um, so I thought what I was going to do was I'm going to pair it with this and I'm going to get a really warm hat and for somebody in the family that wants a really warm hat, um, they can have that or I can give it to charity. Um, so this is 100% wool and this is 100% home hair. So it'll be 100% natural. Um, it is very rustic. They are kind of scratchy, but I think together they're not going to be as bad. And I can probably use a pretty big needle. So maybe I may be able to get two hats out of this. So that I'm kind of putting in a Ziploc bag as a future project. And I think that's it. Um, it's 13 and a half minutes. So I'm only going to upload this to YouTube. Because um, probably it's too much for my Libsyn account. So check it out. I will try and put a link a couple different places so you can see it. And have a great week. Um, go craft something and put something on the Facebook page, the group, whatever you want to. Pictures of what you're working on. Um, if you've cleaned your yarn stash out and organized it. If you found some new brand new needle or old needles or old projects or something you want to show to the group, please go ahead. Um, I think it would be great to see it. So have a great week, guys, and hopefully I see you again soon with some more finished projects.